So it's always really important. Uh, most people don't realize how hard it is, or they do. Um, you know, your love, your guidance, your encouragement is going to continue to push your son, daughters to reach their potential today and always. Uh, uh, I've always, always like to thank the parents uh, and guardians in attendance because of your continued support for your child, the education, and for our great school. So thank you. This evening is a very special event in many ways. Tonight we celebrate our high honor for many student leaders here at PCTVS. Our inductees tonight do not only represent our most academic, academically successful students, but represent role models in our school community and beyond for everyone to admire and to emulate. This evening we recognize those students with outstanding scholarship in the study of world languages. They have put in the time and effort necessary to achieve high marks and embody the ideals that represent the World Language Honor Societies being highlighted this evening. Knowing another language is like getting another diploma. As someone who speaks two languages, I can tell you that it is an advantage and it helps in, in more ways than one. The only thing I ask from all our inductees this evening is to continue the hard work toward, toward their goals and to reach for, the, for high levels of success in all aspects of their life. Keep reaching for the stars and make the, making the world a better place. Believe me when I tell you, you're extraordinary individuals and make a huge difference here at PCTVS and in the world. Now let's put our hands together and give these amazing individuals a loud round of applause for achieving this great Thank you, and let's have a great evening.
going to light the candle which represents the knowledge and dedication each member has for their society. I will now announce each inductee from the ASL World Language Honor Society chapter. Please hold your applause till the end. Notion Ahmed, Maxime Maspono, and Ashley Mendez. Please follow after me. I learn to sign ASL. I understand people of hearing culture and their background and deaf culture and their background. We connect together. How? Through language. Moving forward, I will be proud to, and promise to protect the deaf community. I promise to encourage the hearing and deaf society. to come together in the world. I will show American Sign Language Honor Society inspiration, scholarship, community service, and personal success. Thank you. I will now call up the Chinese Vice President from... It's in the water in ACTI. <laughs> it is amazing. You have so much talent in one community. I am so impressed and I am honored to speak with you this evening about the importance and value of the study of world languages and cultures. Ladies and gentlemen, your language story is important. Your language story matters. We all have our own language story. What is it that drives us? that motivates to continue to such advanced levels of language study. Who am I? I am the grandson of Italian immigrants from Italy many, many years ago, where when my family came here, the United States was a very different place. Now, my grandfather wanted to be American. He, he was proud to be a, a, eventually an American citizen. And it was a time frame where world languages weren't necessarily valued in the same sense that they are today, so it was important that his children spoke English. Now in today's world, we've come to realize the importance and values of speaking languages in addition to English. Yes, learning English language arts from a very young age is very, very important for you to establish those language skills in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. But when you study a language in addition to English, you make yourself that much more essential in our world, in our global society, as you earn your college degrees down the road, your high school diploma, you're able to become more of a global citizen in this interdependent world where the borders that we normally were faced with are folding, and we are able to communicate with others via technology like never before in our society. My language journey might be similar to some of your language journeys along the way, or some of you might be heritage speakers of uh, Spanish, French, Arabic, or even American Sign Language. So at a very young age, something inside me drew me to the language, to the culture. I studied, I studied Spanish first, even though Italian is my heritage. Because at the time, I was a very respectful young man, and I listened to my teacher, she said, no, you will study Spanish because it's going to be the number one spoken language in, next to English in the United States by this year. I'm not going to tell you how old I am. Um, so I listened to my Spanish teacher and I was enthralled with learning about the products, practices, and perspectives 
of the target cultures of the Spanish-speaking world. So much so that I decided to major in Spanish in college and then study Italian, the language of my ancestors. Boys and girls, do you realize that by the mere fact that you have achieved not a novice low, novice mid, novice high, intermediate low, intermediate mid, intermediate high. How many levels is that? That's amazing. That's like six levels on our American Council on the Teaching of uh, Foreign Languages scale of proficiency guidelines. You are all amazing. Please, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> what you are doing by this drive, this grit, this determination to succeed and acquire more language is setting your, yourself apart from your peers from across the, the United States. What happens in many times is some students get frustrated, and in the world language world, we call them two and through, or in some cases, three and through. But boys and girls, the fact that you are continuing to acquire more knowledge of, of the target culture that you have chosen is a testament to your ability to, as I believe Mr. Garcia mentioned, the idea of this elite group of students. What you're doing is you're providing yourselves with multiple opportunities as you move forward in your career, when you have someone who can speak a language in addition to English, how many more people can you communicate with? I know right now in the cafeteria, you might have the opportunity to speak together with your language friends at lunch, to speak and you know to speak privately among yourselves. But when you have this on your resume that you can speak and communicate in a language in addition to English, you really do set yourself apart. As a bilingual or a multilingual student, you are using a part of your brain that a monolingual student is not necessarily using. So yes, you are smarter over time. You are, have the ability to connect with cultures, multiple cultures from the French and Francophone worlds, the Arabic world, the Spanish and Spanish speaking countries of the world. Yes, when you go on vacation, but it's something that brings you joy, I can tell by the mere volume of students that are here this evening that have achieved this level of stats. So I encourage you to continue your study of your respective world languages and your respective cultures. I honor you this evening with this great level of accomplishment and achievement, and I wish you much success as you continue your language learning journey. Now it is time for the induction of our new members. First, I would like to call on the Arabic Vice President from the PCTI, Farah Bashkaz, to, in in to induce her new members. Okay, right, so I'm going to light, the lit to light the candle which represents the knowledge and dedication each member has for their society. I will now let the candle that represents the knowledge and dedication that each member has for their society. I will now announce the names of our new inductees. Ritaj Abdali, Tala Aguadas, Naila Ahmed, Karina Aponte, Gabriela Arias, Melanie Ayala Montoya, Nicole Ayala, Ayala Montoya, Carla Escarte, Nelly Beato, Patricia Blahut, Tiffany Bobos, Sodi Camilo, Adri Carrion, Jordan Cash, Briani Checo, Maha Chowdhury, Anya Colon Valdez, Josveli Colon, Josh Cooper, Aldo Cortez, Destiny Delgado, Yurabel Diaz, Isabella Flores Vasquez, Salma Garcia, Linda Gaida, Eileen Gonzaga Diaz, Gianna Hernandez, Yasmin Higazi, Abil Hussein, Allison Jimenez, Daniel Flores, Zahur Khan, 
Angelica Crepa, Tiffany Manina, Denise Martinez, Sharon Melendez, Sofia Molina, Madeline Montalbano, Samira Muna, Jose Muniz, Gianna Navarro, Hannah Nelson, Casey Noonan, Sarah Nunez, Ramaya Palmer, Siamara Kiandria, Mutasi Raman, Gabriela Ramirez Osorio, Alexa Ramos, Alexandra Ramos, Renzo Ray, Michael Reyes, Elena Rivera, Alyssa Roberts, Emily Romero, Monica Rosendo, Adiba Rupa, Renat Taha, Brandon Tualongo, Alexander Trabalzi, Mary Velasquez, Natalia Weikers, Arian Winter, Lana Yasiji, and Aixa Savaleta. I will now say the Spanish oath. Please repeat after me. Como miembro del capítulo. Juan Diego Flores. Prometo dedicarme al estudio. De la lengua española. Con el fin. De dominarla algún día. Recordando que una lengua. Puede ser un lazo fuerte. Entre personas de distintos. Orígenes de raza o religión. Como ciudadano. De mi patria. Prometo promover. La amistad y el entendimiento. Entre ella y los otros. Países del mundo. Esta es. Mi promesa. In the juramento. In the juramento. I would like to congratulate the new members of the Spanish chapter. Spanish Vice President from STEM, Jonky Patel to induct her members. I hope you all have been enjoying this evening. We would like to welcome our next speakers up to the stage to give a final report. Please welcome our STEM Secretary, Malvin Castro, and our PCTI secretary, Aileen Alargo. Okay, I know what you're all thinking. Oh no, another speech. I promise I will keep this very brief. 
This evening, we've had the great pleasure and honor to see uh, a lot of splendor and a lot of magic to celebrate the accomplishments of many students. I was touched by the community service reports that were presented, showing, in, uh, showing us all how the World Language Honor Society and the various chapters help to enrich our school community and the broader world community as a whole. Mr. Sika, I want to thank you very much for providing what was a very impassioned speech as to why it's so important to study languages. I'd like to thank all of our amazing performers who brought literally tears to my eyes from their words, their vocals, and their performances. We saw how dance, music uh, is a part and forms all of culture. I'd like to take a t uh, the opportunity to thank the people that are responsible for all of the great things that you saw here tonight. So I'm going to ask the advisors to step out from the shadows, to step into the light, and receive a very warm round of applause for all of their hard work. None of this evening's events or the great accomplishments of these chapters will be possible without the hard work of these individuals right here. And so I know I speak for Mr. Garcia and myself when I say we could not thank you enough for all that you do for our school community. Now, last but not least, Mr. Garcia began this evening by having the uh, inductees stand to applaud their families. Now I ask that the families please rise and give one last applause for the great inductees that we have here before us. While you're standing, if you would like to exit to the upper lobby, you may. <laughs> However, your children will stay with us as we have to take some amazing group photos uh, very quickly, which we will share with you. I ask, I promise you, these photos will be shared with you, but it will be fast and efficient if they're looking at one to three cameras as opposed <laughs> to 30 to 35. So that way you get the best shots. All right, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Have a wonderful night.
¿Qué es esa otra panchita? <risa> Escuchando, ahora sí. Perú, 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 Perú. Pausa, pausa. Pausa, pausa, Perú. Pausa, Perú. ¿Y la salsa? ¿Todo el mundo? Yo comí así, porque todavía no escuché. ¿Por qué no vas a comer eso? Porque era de los que estaban el año pasado. Sí. Dicen corona. Por la cerveza.